ScoMo is not the only one who needs empathy training. Following on from the failure of the Prime Minister Scott Morrison to address the March for Justice and his handling of the range of issues highlighted at that march, it has been suggested that he has a tin ear. It has been suggested that whilst he is often called Scotty from marketing over these issues, Morrison has displayed an abject lack of empathy. To my mind, this suggestion is very hard to argue with. I would also argue, however, that Morrison's behaviour is absolutely consistent with that of most marketers and indeed most customer-facing staff in Australia. Morrison has made no attempt to walk in the shoes of the protesters in the march or the women in Parliament and the broader community impacted by these assaults and related issues. Like most marketers and indeed most service providers, Morrison has failed to feel what his audience is feeling and appreciate why they feel that way. He has failed to negotiate to engage emotional. In response to the allegations regarding his mishandling of various issues, Morrison has suggested that it is all about culture. And whilst this seems to me to miss the point, that is the need for immediate action, I would argue that in this regard, Morrison is absolutely right. Empathy is all about culture. And ensuring that people act in a manner that reflects empathy requires developing a culture of empathy. This is true of Parliament House and it is true of business. It is true of how leaders treat staff, how staff interact with each other and how staff interact with customers and potential customers. I would argue just as, culture, as the culture of empathy is essential if all staff are to be treated well, so a culture of empathy is essential if staff are to treat customers in the way they want to be treated and will respond positively to. To develop a culture of empathy, it is essential to lead by example and display empathy to staff, set policies that create an empathetic environment, teach staff to listen, really listen to customers, empower staff to act on what they hear from those customers, empower staff to be honest, transparent and candid, and ensure that staff are focused on relationships ahead of individual sales. Creating a culture of empathy is one of the keys to maximising the lifetime value of each customer. To find out more, visit www.djohncarlsonisq.com. That's www.djohncarlsonisq.com. Or email me, johnc at djohncarlsonisq.com. That's John C. at djohncarlsonesq.com. I'm John Carlson. Thanks for listening.